Hello and welcome to Vegan by Nicole. My name's Nicole, I'm vegan, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the first ever vegan fashion show in London. Bear Fashion hosted the vegan fashion show earlier this week. It was all about showcasing some more sustainable vegan fashion options that are about at the moment. Everyone's getting a bit more um, aware of the consequences of fast fashion and why it's important to make sure that you buy ethically in the sense of um, sustainable materials or um, fair wages across the world. Um, there are lots of reasons why people are paying more attention to the clothes they buy and the fashion show was there to kind of showcase what's on the market really. Yeah, it was really, really interesting to go to. Uh, it was located in the heart of Shoreditch and I got an early bird VIP ticket which cost about £28 compared to I think around a £10 standard ticket and with the VIP package I got, I got a goodie bag. I also got entry to the show, a glitter makeover from Eco Glitter Fun. So that was really nice. And also a free dinner from Eat Che, which was worth about £10 also. My cat's woken up. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. No, so the VIP package was so worth it, considering it was just a little less than 30 quid. As far as what's in here goes, I did have a little bit of a gander, a little bit of a poke around on the night, but I haven't actually emptied it yet. So there might be a few more surprises left in here for me. If you guys could just hit like and subscribe if if you're enjoying this and if you do want to see more, um, that really helps me out, so thank you. Yeah, let's get into it, right? First of all, I've got Simply Vegan magazine. I think this is full of recipes and just um, vegan living, really. I haven't read it before and I'm really looking forward to um, having a browse through this. So I'm looking forward to going through that. That is a good goodie bag gift. Next up, I've got Emily Veg Crisps. I will say I'm not a big fan of vegetable crisps. I still just rather regular crisps. I don't know. Um, 95 calories per pack. This has sugar snaps, French beans, and soybeans in here. Um, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm trying to eat healthier at the moment because my jeans are getting a bit tight. I don't think I've been um, eating well and exercising well as of late. So um, yeah, this is definitely going to help me out on this new lifestyle I'm embarking. Oh, here I've got a Lottie London makeup brush. Lottie London on a completely vegan brand. If you go onto the website you can see which of their products are vegan friendly and which ones aren't so that's really easy to shop on. And this is a little foundation brush which I think is really nice. I don't have a foundation brush um, this shape so I'm curious to see how this works. Feels, feels nice. Only last week I actually bought my first Lottie London product, so I feel like I'm becoming like a debate fan now. But um, I've got her eyeliner, the one with the little stamp on the other side, so I'm, I've really been enjoying that. I'm a fan, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out. What else have I got in here? So, um, whilst I say it was a really good show for showcasing a lot of vegan brands, um, I did have some issues with who they thought were good brands to partner with. And here is um, a good example of that. When I first entered the fashion show venue, so um, basically the fashion show was at the end of the night, and um, for the rest of the um, night, you kind of walked around and explored a few, um, it was like a little market really, that a few brands had some stalls, and you could go around and explore, try on some of their things. But one of the first stalls I saw when I entered was Aveda. Um, for those of you who don't know, Aveda are owned by Estee Lauder, who, sell in China, therefore allow animal testing to go on and because of that I do not support them and whilst I think it's each vegan's own personal choice whether or not they want to support a parent company brand, it's your choice, It's how does it sit with you, it doesn't sit right with me but um, I understand that other people can think that it promotes um, a good strong vegan message or you know you got to cut off your line somewhere, I get it but at a vegan event it's also a startup in itself, so it's it's a good chance to really work with these like truly vegan brands, other startups or other newcomers who aren't owned by a parent company who are unethical. And also to not have that sort of transparency there, like no nowhere did it ever warn people like, oh by the way though, their parent company is Estee Lauder. So it was really frustrating that not only did they feature them, but there was no transparency there. I won't be using this. I'll either be reselling it or regifting it, but I won't be using it. You can read more on that on my blog post, which I'll have linked below because I kind of go into a bit more on the show and how vegan it was. 
just I'm not not keen on that and that actually does bring me on to um, Kat Von D was also there which um, again I had mixed feelings about I am not against it um, as such I avoid from buying Kat Von D for a number of reasons in the sense that I know a lot of vegans are divided on Kat Von D products also I think they're just a bit expensive for what they are I think there are a lot of other options on the high street which are just as good quality but half the price I know a lot of vegans do not support her either because of her own controversial views on things so as far as I understand it I was referring to Peter does and doesn't test list the her parent company um, is also listed as cruelty free which I struggle with because with the research I've done it seems like Kat Von D cruelty free, her parent company cruelty free but another company that the parent company owns is not cruelty free so as far as I'm concerned that means that the parent company is not cruelty free but as far as I can see it the family isn't cruelty free. I've been vegan for quite a while and I've been really happy with how Kat Von D has been a good advocate over the years um, back when there wasn't really like any conversations going on about veganism she was there for a lot of the a lot of the advocacy she does for veganism, I continue to support her um, or not go out of my way to avoid it. I was frustrated that they included her though, just because I know so many vegans just don't really support Kat Von D, so why, why include her? <laughs> like, come on, know your audience. But yeah, so this is the shade Motorhead. It's quite a dark pink purpley shade. Um, it's not really for me, I don't wear very many purpley shades anymore so I won't be using this and it's another thing I'll probably be um, giving away selling on one or the other so here we've got um, another Kat Von D product this is her black liner it's a mini it's a mini liner her tattoo liner is one of her best products I'd say from her range it I've got the tattoo liner in brown I used to have this in black, I've used it up. When she first launched in London, um, I was in the right place at the right time, but at King's Cross Station they had a little pop-up where they were handing away these little goodies, and I got one then. I was really impressed with it, I just prefer the brown liner myself. So I think this will be going to my friend Hannah, who has already expressed an interest in it, so um, I'll be bringing that into her, and she'll be very happy. So this is um, the sort of products I love getting in a goodie bag. It's a brand I hadn't heard of before, Tropica and this is a cleansing oil made with coconut oil and olive oil. But I'm really excited to try and use this. Um, it should be really good at getting rid of makeup at the end of the day and yeah this is a good product and I'm really happy to have received this. Um, it's really nice when you get a goodie bag with brands that you haven't really heard of or used before and it gives you a chance to try them out and see what you really think of them. Here I've got hole. <laughs> so um, in the goodie bag um, this is something I did have already out of it. There was a little rosé can. I think I've got a... Ah, so I've got a little... Um, <laughs> this is my little paper straw for the rosé I've already drunk. But it was um, Thompson and Scott rosé, sparkling rosé. It was really nice. I enjoyed walking around the show with my little rosé. I probably should have used my straw. Yeah, it tastes really nice. Uh, oh, and they're also 100% recyclable. So that's a good thing about drinking these, as they say. So you're basically helping the planet by drinking. Any excuse, yep, however flimsy, I'm on board. Here I've got um, Optiat. This is an exfoliating face mask, which I'm really happy with. I, um, I've already got a product from Optiat, which I really enjoyed, so I'm excited to try out another one. And for those of you who don't know much about them, they use like wasteful byproducts and turn them into beauty products. So if you're interested in companies that promote a circular economy, they're a really good one to check out and their products are really amazing. Definitely the sort of brand I would expect to be showcased at this, at a vegan fashion event where the focus is on sustainability and fresh thinking. Uh, what else we got in here? Okay, so this is a Kat Von D purchase. I'm actually, I, I remember seeing these in the goodie bags on the night. And here are mini versions of her Saint and Sinner perfumes. I'm really excited about this. I don't know if I've necessarily got the best nose to give you guys some really good details. So I'm actually going to give this a quick Google before I give them the sniff. The whole Saint and Sinner thing, it's like, ooh, which one will I prefer? <laughs> like, I feel like it's going to say a lot about me. Um, I'm quite nervous. <laughs> um, let's go for Saint first. So I'm giving it a little Google. Kat Von D is um, only available in the UK through Debenhams. So if you are interested in buying any of her products, that's where you got to go. Uh, this is it out of the box. Soft, alluring and dreamy. This actually smells of jasmine, mandarin, caramel, plum, vanilla, 
a very romantic perfume from what I'm seeing here and I love jasmine and I love vanilla so this should actually be a really good fragrance for me. Oh, I like that. That is such a date night scent. I probably wear it every day, but I don't know how I'm gonna actually spray this though. It's like, yeah, we can see this, right? It's it's not got a spray at all, so that's gonna be a bit difficult for me to use. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Anyone got any tips? Please leave them below. Got the thinner one, so let me let me search. So you can actually get a set with um, the two mini perfumes and the mini eyeliner from Debenhams for eighteen pounds, which I think is actually quite good value. So this one is dark, sultry and empowering, also with jasmine and vanilla, spicy cinnamon, oh I'm liking this, it's um, similar to the other one but with a bold spicy twist, oh yeah I like that one as well, I do think the scent is way more me but I like that one, that one's good, yeah I'm still a bit confused about how I'm going to get the scent out of these little bottles so please leave me a tip below, <laughs> I would really appreciate that. Okay, so this was a, this was a skin oil um, brand that was there on the night, and I really enjoyed like sniffing out their products. I'm so happy I've got one of these. They look so nice. It's really good, high quality oils. They're palm oil free. They're paraben free. They're like free of all the nasties that everyone ever wants their products to be free of, and they're all about the high quality. And here I've got their Serenity Blue Tansy Facial Oil. It's a very odd colour. <laughs> Um, again, it's a, it's a tester sort of size, but it's a good good size tester. That's going to last me a good while. It's enough to like get an opinion. Oh, that smells so nice. That's such an evening scent. Like it's very relaxing. I like I, I get why it's called Serenity. And also, if you're into your crystals, this is infused with the calming and soothing vibrational en energy of aquamarine. I'm not much of a crystal buff myself, but I'm quite excited to know that about my product. Next up, I've got a little Eco Glitter Fun Pot. Let me see if you guys can see that a bit better. These are really nice um, autumn colours, which is really good because that's the season I'm about to go into. And uh, my friend, um, on the night, she got a glitter parting, and it looks so good. Also, um, I didn't say biodegradable. Very good, very sustainable. So good for the animals and good for the environment. Vegan, cruelty-free, biodegradable glitter. And last in the... In the goodie bag, I've got Panna Chocolate Mint Chocolate. This is raw, organic and handmade. And I've had these before. I prefer their nuttier flavours, but I'm still happy with this. The boyfriend doesn't like mint chocolate, so this will actually all be mine. Uh, so that's a bit of a victory. Empty. I hope you've really enjoyed unpacking my VIP goodie bag with me. I am really, really impressed with the value of this. Spending £30, getting the entry, the meal, the glitter makeover, and all that stuff. Ugh, I'm just really, really impressed and really chuffed. I had a good night. I had um, a couple of issues with what was going on, which I've got in my blog post below. But on the whole, considering it was their first event, um, I will give them back some feedback and hopefully it's something that they'll grow from. Yeah, more details on the fashion show is also in my blog post. So if you're actually interested a bit more on what was worn, that will be there. It is a bit of a surprise I didn't get anything fashion-y in my, in my goodie bag, but I know they're more high value items. It would have just been a bit nice to have had maybe even a very good discount code or um, bamboo socks, I don't know. They're all beauty products, which is great, but it was a fashion show. I just, one, one fashion piece may have been quite nice. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video, I know this one's been quite a lot beauty based. So um, if you're interested in vegan beauty, I have a Instagram at vegan beauty girl, all dedicated to vegan beauty products. And I've also got my personal uh, Instagram which is more about vegan food, vegan lifestyle, which is at vegan by Nicole. So it'd be great if you guys could follow me on those two. Um, otherwise, subscribe and like this video. I've got my blog link below as well. So a lot of ways to stay connected. I hope to see you guys again. So thank you again for watching. Bye!